Well, thank you all very much for the recent increase in subscriptions to the channel. Really appreciate the growth. And I have had a few more questions relating to what exactly is my post-ride, post-workout, post-race nutrition? So I just want to address that in a little bit more detail um, and the underlying rationale for each part of it. It doesn't really deviate other than the carbohydrates. More of that in a second, my favorite bit. So I start always with the Phil Richards Ultimate Greens. It doesn't really matter um, what brand it is or whether or not you get your greens from actual vegetables. I eat a lot of veg as well. But the reason I like this is it's water soluble, therefore it's quickly absorbed into the body, which is gonna be a recurring theme. And this drink contains plenty of vitamins and minerals that are great for blood health and boosting the immune system. So you've got iron, potassium, magnesium, great for blood health. You've got vitamin A, B, all the Bs, and that's great for boosting the immune system in terms of the vitamin B. Um, C, reducing adrenaline and cortisol, i.e. stress hormones after the training. Um, D, a bit more of D in a second, um, and also K. So a fulsome profile of nutrients. And after your training, the body's been under a lot of stress. And so to my mind, it's good to focus on food types, supplements, that kind of thing, that are gonna help the process of recovery. So here we are, and I often do a full gas greens. Bounce come down. And the reason I've got a cap on indoors is I wash my hair and it normally gets a little bit frizzy. Well, here we go. So the process of boosting the immune system and hopefully blood health improvement has now begun. Water soluble, nice and fast. Gonna move right on to the vitamin C. So I've literally just finished the Matando a Corpo um, climbing race, 105 kilometers, a couple of times in the jungle, a couple of times up the epic KOM. And so the body is surging um, with the stress hormones, i.e. cortisol and adrenaline. And you wanna calm that down, um, especially to help with good sleep a little bit later. Um, that's why I train really early in the morning, by the way, because um, I don't wanna spike the adrenaline and cortisol um, in the afternoon or evening. Um, pre going to bed, it takes me a while to calm down. Now vitamin C is obviously great for boosting the immune system, but also it helps the body expel the cortisol on adrenaline, therefore helps the process of recovery and calming everything down um, to get back into a normal kind of rhythm of life. Now, of course you can just have fruit and if you look at previous vlogs, I've eaten a hell of a lot of berries and apples and things like that immediately after training. But I've been experimenting with this Phil Richards vitamin C. I've kept it in the program, I think it's good. I will eat all the fruit later. I'm a massive advocate of fruit and veg, but I like the soluble nature of this. Again, it's just about getting into the body quickly. The body is primed for recovery. And let's give it the nutrients as quickly as possible. So that's my rationale, but absolutely, if you just want to eat fruit, eat fruit. If you just want to eat greens, eat greens. Makes no odds, just a tiny bit slower for the body to break it all down and those nutrients to get into the system. Here we go. And the other thing, of course, I'm getting is plenty of water in the supplements. Now it's time to move on to the protein. Now I like this product. It is an animal product, but if you wanna use a vegan protein, use a vegan protein. The profile of amino acids you get is usually fulsome from either. Um, this is a low carb, low fat protein shake. Tastes good. I like to mix it with the hippie milk. If you wanna use normal milk, use normal milk. If you wanna mix it with water, mix it with water. But I do love, I mean, I really do love the hippie milk. There we go, generous serving. Again, more H2O in that. And I like 30 grams of protein because it's gonna deliver, here we go, nice scoop, vanilla whey. It's gonna deliver, that's 20 grams of protein. We go for half scoop. It's gonna deliver the amino acids that are integral to repairing damaged cells. Whenever you're training, whether it's strength training 
or cycling, running, that kind of thing, you're damaging the muscles. And after the training's over, the muscles want to repair stronger than before the training began, and they need amino acids to do that. And of course, the protein shake delivers exactly those. So here we go. And you'll observe, it's gradually getting sweeter as I go through my little regime. Now, often I was mixing the berries and the protein shake together in the NutriBullet. That's a very nice way of breaking the fruit down, getting the vitamin C into the body quicker. Really enjoy that. You know, making a rare old mess here. Vitamin D. It's winter, not outside as much, not getting as much vitamin D from the sun. Um, vitamin D is again great for recovery. Um, when you're low in vitamin D, there's a number of side effects. Um, I can't remember exactly what they are that relate to that, but vitamin D is generally good for, uh, for health. Therefore, I'm supplementing again these little, and these are quite sweet, I quite like these. Again, from Phil Richards. I'm not sponsored, I have no sponsors on the channel. I've used Phil Richards products for ages. One of these gives them, um, what is it? 2,000 international units, so it's a nice boost. Again, um, giving me, hopefully, something that's gonna stave off illness, boost the immune system. I think it's good for blood health as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Bottom line is, everybody says you need a little bit of vitamin D, especially in the Northern Hemisphere over winter. Now, we start moving to my favorite part of the post-ride, post-training nutrition. Naughty, actually he's not at all naughty, naughty Mr. Carbohydrate, lovely Mr. Carbohydrate, the friend of the cyclist. So today I'm going with bread. I know there's a bit of a phobia about bread out there, but if you're not gluten intolerant, enjoy some bread or indeed cereal. I love cereal as an alternative post-ride. Something like that is amazing. Oats is good. These I'm quite addicted to as well. Um, but today, it's gonna be um, the Tesco's Raisin and Cranberry Bloomer. Uh, Sainsbury's do a really nice one as well. Now, typically speaking, I don't really emphasize the fats um, ever um, post-training. I, I, I kind of keep the fats generally quite low in general, but if you want a little bit of butter on your bread, add a bit of butter to the bread. If you want a pizza after you've done a really hard training, have a pizza. Um, the fat does have nine calories per gram. Um, not quite as accretive, I don't personally believe, uh, to cycling, but I think good for hormonal health, this kind of thing. Um, sometimes I'll have um, a bagel with peanut butter and jam on it. Um, I do love a bit of that, or indeed the M&S ice spice bun, people know I love that, or indeed a little bit of uh, uh, like a cinnamon bun, this kind of thing. Um, I'll treat myself, especially after a harder training or a race um, like the one I just did. But this stuff is really, really nice. And I won't be a glutton over it because I will get more progressively more hungry as the day goes on. I tend not to be too hungry immediately after the training. But don't deny yourself after the training. The body has been depleted of all the different nutrients. It needs to repair muscle damage, but also the glycogen has been run down. Um, glycogen obviously being the cyclist friend, it's there in the muscles, um, it's also in the brain and the liver. Um, it is integral for the production of energy um, on the bike. Therefore, you know, three, maybe four slices of bread, um, I don't know, 150, 200 grams worth. A little bit of honey today, you might have a little bit of butter on that. I'll be keeping the butter low. Um, and then I'll probably be satiated. Um, I won't stuff my face. Um, but a little bit later on, as the hunger rises again, I'll be going long on the carbs, um, probably having a little bit more protein shake or another lean source of protein like fish, that kind of thing. But all in all, um, it's pretty standard. It's basically vitamins, minerals, nutrients, protein with the hippie milk, fruit, carbs, and then loads of veg. Veg as well, let me emphasize, later on we have like vegetable curries, this kind of thing. The veg is very much 
the cyclist friend full of vitamins again and nutrients to aid the process of recovery nice slow digesting carbohydrates um, again to top up glycogen but also make you feel good and if you, if you can cook your veg in a way that you love it winner winner every single time behold the devastation for the post-ride nutrition bread wise i've got one lined up with butter one lined up with honey let's see which is best the taste test these bloomers are sensational by the way both are sublime i'll probably go with the one with the honey personally but definitely reckon that one pound 80 of absolute heaven hope this was useful